Hello Geminis, how are you all? I hope you're doing well, I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you are. Okay, Geminis, I'm going to be doing your general reading, okay, from 1st to the 15th of Feb. May or may not resonate, okay, it's just an initial guide this day, okay, for you guys. Um, please bear in mind as well that the general reading may not fit everyone, okay, so just take and leave what you want from this, okay. Now, quick few messages before we get into your reading, Geminis, okay, is um, we've passed 100 subscribers. Okay, so congratulations to everyone who subscribed and those who are supporting this channel and my my work, okay, that I do. I was going to say reading and then I said work, okay, but yeah, the readings, okay. Um, I mean, it's your support, it's greatly appreciated, okay, and obviously we're all doing something very right here, okay, so which goes to show a lot. So thank you so, so much, all right, guys. Now... Um, I am going to be getting on with the three-part series real soon, okay? I will. I've just not been very well, okay? And I'm still having a very sore throat. So it's going to take a bit of time for that to get better. But, you know, I've, I'm promising you guys, okay, I'm going to be starting the three-part series on how to do meditation, okay, real soon. In the meantime, you guys can go and check out my podcast where I am discussing about chakras. I'm talking about crystals. I'll be making affirmations on there things like this but again there's been a bit of a delay because I have been ill okay um so another thing as well is if you would like to book me for a private reading all of the information is in the description box below for you guys to go and check out okay including my podcast the link for that too right and I have something really special coming up on my website okay towards the end of this year but I'm not really sure what month yet okay but as soon as that's up you guys will be the first ones to know as well as all the other zodiacs too all right, now I have your cards laid out here because I am so silly. I didn't look at the time and I laid out your cards getting ready for, you know, to do the reading. I have not seen them, by the way, okay? I just flipped them over because I was getting late to go somewhere. So I just left it here, okay? So let's get started. So your overall energy is the tower, all right? So um, first off, this is kind of telling me, okay, that um, someone here... Someone's foundation here is about to crumble beneath, okay? This tower is on fire, but you see that how it's still standing, okay? That means that there is still time to save, okay, this foundation. There is still time to deal with the situation in an appropriate way, okay? Now, this could be your feelings as well in regards to the situation. Um, this could be um, how you're feeling right now, Gemini's, okay? Or how your person is feeling right now as well, Um this could also be about manipulation as well, okay? This could be about, you know, um, somebody having their own selfish motives, okay? And destroying somebody else's life by doing this. So let's get on with your reading. We have the Fool, okay? We have the Princess of Cups. We have the Light, sorry, Light, <laughs> the Eight of Wands. We have Two of Wands, could have been Light. I don't know why, but I just really did see light there but no clearly that's eight okay um we have four of coins we have the magician and we have the ace of cups okay so to me um all right we've missed one we have the strength as well so to me this is talking about breaking free okay letting go of of old beliefs taking a risk okay into a situation or towards a person okay that you believe are the right ones for you okay you believe that this person is for you you're holding on to a connection you're thinking about a connection okay now if this is not holding on to a connection the other possibility as well that this could be is that you're holding on to your feelings and you don't want to tell this person how you're feeling but this to me is actually showing as an opportunity rather than actually you holding back this is showing here as well that this is an opportunity because the fall here is obviously about new beginnings starting a new beginning taking a step forward okay um but when you're holding a pentacle okay this is about the opportunity coming to you or you needing to go towards this opportunity with the eight of wands here this is definitely showing to me that you're going towards this opportunity there is swift change there's action coming okay there's movement here so you're definitely going towards this opportunity okay whether this is a person a job finance you know this is definitely a forward moving energy here gemini's okay with the two of wands here you're thinking about it okay 
you're thinking about this opportunity a lot you really want this opportunity you're seeing this as a golden um a golden moment for you okay with the two of wands here all right um this could also be about you know um making a decision okay once you've made once you've moved forward this could be about a decision as well that you need to make from there onwards okay um like i said again see how the four of coins this guy and this princess of coins are both holding on to the pentacles except you have more now in this regards okay so to me this is showing about you know um protecting your your money your finances protecting your feelings protecting this opportunity holding it you know you're coming up with some bright ideas here but this is like a transformation okay and you've manifested this okay or you're manipulating the situation into your favor but you're definitely learning okay how to manipulate and this is about skills resources okay so guys, I just need a little time to kind of like get some messages coming through. Um, with the magician being here, this is definitely telling me that this is about you learning those resources, keeping those resources close to you. You know, you're learning how to do all of this. Okay, so this could be related to a job. Definitely could be related to a job. You may have to travel to go to this job here. Money, um, there's money potential there. So whatever you're getting right now, you're keeping. Whatever you're learning, you're keeping to yourself here. Um, you're emotionally fulfilled in this job, okay? You're emotionally overwhelmed. You're reaching for this fulfillment. Let's see what's going on. You have the strength, you have the courage, the resilience to deal with this as well, okay? So let's see what's going on here. The situation might change once we got clarified, but that was the general idea. So this may re resonate with some, not all, but once clarifies come out, it may resonate with somebody else. So let's see. Okay. <clears throat> That's what we got. Spirits, clarify the fool, please, for me. Clarify the fools, please, Holy Spirits. Clarify the fool for me, please. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's see. We have the judgment, making a decision to take a step forward, a final decision. This is the final call, okay? Um, you need to make that final decision, okay? It's make or break to take this step forward. Hermit, you've gone into hermit mode. You could be dealing with a Virgo as well. This could be you and your person. You're really thinking, okay, about this opportunity. See how you're looking out at that window, staring at the future, you know, but you're also your own reflections looking back at you. So it's kind of like you're seeing yourself in this workplace or this situation. You're putting yourself in there, okay? You're definitely soul searching. Clarify the princess of coins, please, spirit. You know your situation better than I do, Gemini, so how this relates, please take it as that um, for your situation. Why is the Princess of Coins here, please, Spirit? Why is the Princess of Coins here? <laughs> Why? Okay. Alright. Why is the Princess of Coins here, please, Spirit? Why is the Princess of Coins here? All right, I'm going to take these two. So we have the Six of Pentacles. That's the second time that wanted to come out. So there's a lot of give and take going on here. This workplace or whatever the situation it is, it's actually a very generous place. It's a very giving place. You know, there's a lot of back and forth going on. But I feel somewhere down here, you may feel like you've been left out in the cold. So you're kind of holding back or you're holding on to your own, you know, um, your own worth really. Okay, I feel like you're really holding on to this opportunity, though, whatever this is, okay? Whatever this is, you're definitely holding on to your own opportunity. You're holding on to this, um, this, this job. You've kind of paused yourself here, okay? You may be kind of like hanging there in suspension with a hanged man, okay? And thinking um, or observing your situation, definitely observing your situation. You're observing your surroundings here, Geminis, you know, you're observing your, your situation here. You see this place as some place where it's kind of like give and take. But I feel like somewhere along the line here, Gemini, okay, that there could be like some kind of favoritism going on amongst some people, okay, in this business or this company, wherever you're working. Because some people get treated more fairly than others. And you're watching, you're watching. Why is the four of coins here, please, spirit? Why is the four of coins here, please, spirit? Why is the four of coins here, please, spirit? 
Why is the Four of Coins here, please, Spirit? Ace of Swords. You're getting a breakthrough, definitely, with everything that you've been learning, okay, Gemini's, cross watchers even, um, whoever this resonates to, but I think this is resonating more to Gemini's. You're definitely getting a breakthrough here. You're definitely gaining victory over the situation with everything that you've been learning, everything that you've manifested. You're definitely um, getting a break here. Clarify the Eight of Wands here, please, Spirit. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please, Spirit. Two of Cups. This could be a very good partnership, a business maybe that you've started up. This could be a business that you've joined, okay, and already you've made a great partnership. Company does definitely work towards partnership here, okay. For them, um, you know, their, their colleagues, the people that they work around with are very, very important to them, okay, with the Two of Cups. They definitely value their, um, their relations within their business, okay. So they take action on, on these people on sorry on partnership you know and um work colleagues let's clarify the two of cups let's let's see what the two of cups brings clarify the two of cups please for it oh look at that we have the knave of cups which is actually the page of cups this is actually telling me here that you're about to get very creative in your workplace you are yeah, you're definitely about to get very creative in your workplace. You are, you know, starting to, um, or people are starting to see the potential and they're admiring you for the work that you do. If you're opening a business, you know, you're definitely kicking off to a great start. That is beautiful energy there. Okay. This could well be a person, but I'm only going to tell you what I'm picking up. And I'm picking up that this is more work related. Okay. Like a new opportunity that you've taken um, a chance on or that you're about to get. Clarify the magician for me, please, Spirit. Um, okay, so everything that you've learned has been about routine, efficiency, practicality, okay? How to take leadership, okay? Um, this is also about, you know, how to be more reliable. You may be, um, you may have taken a banker's job, um, something in finance even. You could be a, a real estate you know, something along those lines there, but you've learned a lot from this job, a lot. And it's made you very, very stable, very, very grounded. Let's uh, see what the Ace of Cups is about. This may well be a love reading as well, like I said, but if, um, but I'm, I'm just going to read it as the energy because for me, the energy in Korea is a lot higher right now. Ace of Pentacles, you're reaching for that golden opportunity that is making you feel happy. <laughs> yeah, definitely are. Um, that is good. That is good. You manifested this. You worked your ass off for this Gemini, you know, and you've got it. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles, that is big money coming in. That is money that's going to fulfill every need of yours. You're going to live very happily. That pentacle there. That pentacle is yours, baby. You see that cup? You're not far from reaching it. That cup is yours as well. Oh, yeah. Whether this is love, finance, you're getting it. And things are looking great. Wow. Okay. Let's see, you got Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. All right. Let's see what the Two of Cups is. I'm feeling a very, like, kind of... Awesome vibe, gems. Wow, gems are sparkling and shining today. Okay, chariot. Moving forward and gaining victory and success. You've just come out of a hardcore battle, Geminis, and you're moving towards victory. You are moving towards victory. You're driving that car, vroom, vroom, and you're going places. Yes, you are. You're going places because the world is your oyster. Is that the saying? I hope it is. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful energy. Very beautiful. If this doesn't resonate now, yeah, believe me, in a few months' time, this may as well resonate. So just remember that. Come back to it. 
strength let's see what we've got for the strength please spirit oh my goodness this is gorgeous energy we have the two of swords Ooh, something is actually stopping you at a different crossroads so now you're driving that car you see you're driving that car the world's your oyster you're looking at the future and you're going in you're charging in with that ferrari that lamborghini or whatever bagatti whatever you want to drive okay and you're driving but at some point you're gonna have to pull your bra brakes because that sat now was not actually giving you the right direction and now you're gonna have to use your intuition let's see why is the two of swords here please spirit why is the two of swords here please spirit we have the moon like i said you need to use your intuition you need to use your intuition. Okay? Your strength is your intuition. Okay? Everything you've learned is going to help you to drive towards the right path by using your intuition because your sat-nav has just messed you up and is not telling you which way you need to go. Ouch. careful though don't get too ahead of yourself because this also could signify that you may have enemies if you choose the wrong path you could end up being you could end up deceiving yourself even people could end up deceiving you as well so just be very careful here we have the temperance with the world and one of the paths that you choose is going to be a very balanced you'll be halfway okay with whatever you want to okay especially with the world card being here the cycle will be complete the opportunity is there for travel even so make sure you pick the right path because you can meet halfway with your boss your manager whoever you're dealing with but if you choose the wrong path you're going to be coming across some deceptive people so use your intuition and move forward let's see what this tower is about why are you here things are about to change suddenly for you but i'm not thinking that this is entirely a bad thing sag i'm um, sag gem could be dealing with sag uh, we got earth energy here though, quite strongly. What else do we have here? Let's see, we have a lot of cups, so you can be dealing with the water side, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Hangman. Ooh, what's the Hangman? Is that Taurus? I can't remember. We have the Fool here. We have the Hermit, Virgo. We got Judgment, okay. What else we got? We got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Sharon energy there. Okay, let's go. Let's see what, oh, we got Chariot, Cancer. Why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here, please, spirit? Why is the tower here, please, spirit? We'll take that one. Oh, the star. Wishes and hopes are about to come true, but this could happen very suddenly. This is going to happen so suddenly, you're going to think it's too good to be true. You're going to think it's too good to be true. So that's probably because sometimes it is too good to be true. So just make sure you take that right path when the time comes. I feel like for some of you guys are going through a transition. You know what I mean? Like a really good transition. But at some point, you know, everybody in their transition has to go through this path that they have to choose. With the Five of Cups, you may feel there's a loss or a disappointment of some sort. Okay, with this tower moment here. So you could feel like spiritually you're being drained from energy okay you may feel like some changes are going on some unwanted changes going on okay with the tower being here as well uh what else somebody here may like i said within your workplace may have uh, like i said with the favoritism here okay some someone may try to start competition with you as well especially with this tower here because they have their own motives okay so somebody here may want to you know get ahead of you and shine more like a star brighter than you and you may feel like you've lost or you feel defeated but remember there are two cups behind this okay in the rider white in the traditional one there is a man standing there looking at those three cups fell on the floor okay and there was two cups behind this man and if he had turned around he would have saw those two cups there. And those two cups is what you need, okay, to move forward, okay, in this job. All right. Let's give you guys some advice cards. Let's see what spirit or angel guys have to advise you guys, Gemini. All right. This reading has been absolutely awesome. Helpful people. Yes, helpful people. Whoever this person is, the two of cups, that's the person you need, okay? That is the person you need. Whoever you're learning these skills and resources from, it could be that person. Let's get one more. What else have we got? 
angel guides what else have we got spirit for gems reconsider reconsider what action you take what route you're taking reconsider it okay don't make any crazy moves there okay with your uh ferrari or the gatti or whatever you're driving Woo! easy does it slow your car down gemini's slow your car down okay slow your car down your health happiness and abundance requires a dental approach to life and work i totally agree energy is vibing gems energy is vibing lapis lazuli life-changing f and e and experience oh you're definitely going to be getting that i feel like i said for some of you guys this is going to be a transformation all right so some of you are going through a transformation it's a time of big and blessed changes for you and god is supporting you each step of the way so whether you believe in god or not or whether you believe in angel spirits whatever you believe in believe in that okay because some serious changes are going to happen here okay but just kind of pull your brakes a little okay here slow your car down a little bit okay um and you know choose the right path use your intuition be very careful okay because like i told you there's two paths there one's going to lead you to you know success one's just going to lead you to deception okay and deceiving people all right gemini's i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did smash that like and also don't forget to subscribe okay don't forget to share this video as well all the good stuff yeah don't forget to check out the description box below too all right thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and uh thank you guys also for supporting my podcast if you haven't already done so go check it out my blessings are all with you take care guys bye